kids, welcome back to the next week of classes. I'm so happy and excited to be here back again with you guys to learn about God once, once more. So I ask you to please stand and let's close our eyes and join our hands. Heavenly Father, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for allowing us to be here once more to learn about your word and have fun together. Father, I ask that everything I learned today, I may put it in practice. And also that I can have fun with my little friend. In the name of your son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. And I have it. Okay, kids, so the class of today is going to be really fun. So I'm going to start with the team. And the team is the importance of praying and fasting. Say it with me, the importance of praying and fasting. So, the importance of praying and fasting. Okay? So, only the girls, the importance of praying and fasting. Okay, great. Now, the boys, the importance of praying and fasting. Now, all together. The importance of praying and fasting. I know kids, it's going to be easy, 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 but I'm going to do the actions and then you will do it. So the importance, oh, sorry, I got confused guys. So I'm just going to do the actions, then you will say it. Okay, great. I know that you learned it. One more time, just to be sure, all together. The importance of praying and fasting. Great kids. So now we will do a review of it. So we are back in to play the review of the team. So let's review the team one, once more. The importance of fasting and praying. So, okay, so now the point of this game, they'll have to put the clothes that's there. For the button starts, they have to put four buttons. Then blow the bubble foot and blow the bubble foot over here, pop it. So who's gonna win? Boys or girls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So it's gonna be one, two, three. I was sure to get a intelligent now it's time to pay attention to the memory verse and it's gonna be easy if you pay attention and if you are well concentrated in class so if there's somebody talking to you just tell them Shh, be quiet because it's time to learn the memory verse and I know that you are all intelligent and you will learn it. Hi guys 
Are you ready to learn the memory verse of the year? Yes? Oh, okay, okay. So the memory verse is so, so easy. And I know that you're going to learn it with the actions and everything will be that will be done. Okay? So let's start with the memory verse. And the memory verse goes like this. This can, can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. You got it? So now repeat it after me, okay? So now you'll repeat it after me. One, two, three. This can, can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Mark 929. Yes, kids, it's so easy, right? I know that you're smart kids, intelligent little kids, that you're gonna learn it. So let's repeat it again. This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Mark 9. 29 Okay, now I want the girls to repeat it after me, okay? Come on girls, you need to repeat it after me All the girls, all the girls, all the girls, come on, come on, all the girls All the girls are watching me Let's come on, let's be excited to learn our memory verse because it's so easy, okay? Are you ready? Okay, and it goes like this This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Mark 9 29. Okay, so now I want the boys. Come on, boys. All my boys that say the memory verse and know that you can be louder than the girls. Can you be louder than the girls? Yes, or you have to be louder than the boys? Well, let's find out. So let's go, all the boys. Come on, let's say the memory verse. One, two, three. This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Mark 9, 29. Okay, so for the last time, all of us saying the memory verse, taught everybody as loud as loud as we can. So that the people outside can see how we're shouting and saying clearly our memory verse, okay? So come on, everybody. One, two, three. This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Mark 929. Okay, kids, so let's go to our game to review it. Okay, kids, so the game is that I want my two friends to come up here. So the game is that they will try to burst the other one's balloon. So Benji will try to burst a Johnny's balloon, and a Johnny will try to burst Benji's balloon, okay? So you ready to see who will win? Are you ready to see who will win? Okay, so let's start the game on the count of three. Oh, you can't use your hand out. But now it's time to stand up and let's stretch our hands, stretch, touch our toes, and spin around because it's time to do the song. So everybody's doing it with all 
the energy you have even though it's hot but you can still do it because it's for God. His name is Jesus. Come on, we're gonna praise the sun. Jesus is here. Jesus has won. Jesus is life. Come on, we're gonna have some fun. And just rest a little but pay attention because the most important part is to come right now and it's time to learn from the lesson so pay attention and just learn from what God has to tell us today Okay, my kids, are you ready for today's lesson? Wow, well, that's awesome. Well, I want you to pay close attention to this lesson. And you might be asking yourself, is that me? Does that happen? 
Well, let me tell you, yes, and for that, it's very important for you to pay close attention to this lesson. And the story of today begins like this. Jesus' disciples, they were walking, talking about all the marvelous things Jesus was doing. As you know, they were always there. And they share all those miracles, all those details that Jesus does. But meanwhile, he was walking and talking about all of that. A man came desperate. This man came so, so desperate. And see what happened then. Someone help me, help me. I need help. My, my son is possessed. Help. And, that, and you can see this man came so desperate and said, Please help me. I need you to help me. See my son. My son has an unclean spirit that torments him. You can see him. See his moving. And not just that, he was pleased. Look at him, do something for him. And the disciple kids, the disciple said, don't worry. Right now, we're going to take out that unclean spirit. And children, the disciple revoked starting by saying, you, unclean spirit, you don't belong in him. Go out. And you know, children, they said, in the name of Jesus, I command you to get out of his life. But you know, kids, what happened? He was still moving like this. See him. He was walling a foam in his mouth. But when he, the father, after a while, the father said, Look, my son is still the same. And when the people heard that, they all pulled it out and said, Oh, they don't have power. Look at them. They don't have power. And people just start gathering more and start criticizing. See, they don't have the power as the teacher had. And you can imagine all those people talking kids when they were all talking, judging, and giving their own opinion. Guess who was coming? Yes, Jesus was coming. And they all said, look, look, Jesus is coming. And they all ran to greet Jesus. And they were happy to see Jesus. And Jesus said, what are you discussing with them? What are you talking with them? And you know what all they said? They were, Jesus, see. And the father said, I brought my son. He has a mute spirit. So the, dis I brought him so the disciple would heal him. Children, the man was still moving. And he said, I brought my son so he can be healed. Jesus, help me, help me. My son is possessed. Have compassion of me, please. Children, and the father was so desperate seeing his son like this. And he said, please help me have compassion. Can you imagine his father looking at his son? And you know, Jesus said, for those who believe, nothing is impossible to him who believe. And you know what was the reaction of the father? He cried out very loud and with tears in his eyes because he loved his son. He didn't want to see his son like that. Children, and that was not just everything. He continued being this way. And he said, he'd been from a childhood like this. And he'd been through through the fire, through the water to be destroyed. And this father, they didn't want to see no more his son like this. But when Jesus saw all the crowd gathering together, children, Jesus said to, to the young man, he said, I command you, spirit, and he revoked it by saying, that a new spirit, get out of him and enter no more. Children, and the spirit cried out low and conversely come out greatly out of him. And he felt like he was dead. And the people, do you want to know what was the reaction of the people? The people were, he's dead. Look at him. We were waiting for a miracle. Look at him. And everyone were just talking, judging, giving their own opinion. But do you want to know what really happened? 
Okay. Jesus took his hand and left him and he arose. See? Wow, isn't that marvelous? He made a miracle. And you can imagine his father so happy seeing his son. Now he looks good and everything is. My little children, as we saw in this story about fasting and prayer, it's very important. Who can tell me what is fasting? Can someone tell me? Yes, it's not eating. For, for example, there is a difference when you say, I won't eat the whole day, nothing. I won't eat. But you're not praying, you're not reading your Bible, and that is starving. But when you say, I'm going to fast today, I won't eat, but I'm going either at home or at church. I would read my Bible, I would pray, I would spend more time with God, I would listen to Him. And you know, my little kid, when all of that comes to our life, and we take all time to spend with God, you know, physically, you might feel, oh, I'm weak, I'm tired. But you know, spiritually, that will help you make strong. Why? Whenever you go through a problem, whether at school, at home, or at your neighborhood, any situation you go through, my little kids, you need to be like, you're gonna be strong and you will overcome the situation. Be you know why, children? Because in this story, the disciple understood the importance of praying and fasting. Yes, you, you know why? Because um, when they reach at home, they ask Jesus privately, what could we all cast? And he said, those things just doesn't go like that. It's very important for you to pray and fast. So remember, today we learned that not just by praying, things will just go like that or will be solved. No, children. It's very important for us to take that time to fast and spend time with God. Imagine the disciples. They would be so sad because Jesus already told us how to do everything. But Jesus explained to them and told them, it's not just praying, but taking time to do fasting. So here we learn. And if you haven't tried it, I invite you to tell your parents or your pastor or someone, I want to be part of the fasting. I want to know more Jesus. So remember, it's very important. Say with me, God help me to understand the importance of praying and fasting. Say it again with me. God help me to give importance to prayer and fasting. So remember, it's very important for us. So whenever your teacher asks you a question, you can answer. Guys, I know that you like the story. And I have a question. How many of you guys know what is fasting? Okay, some of you might know, some of you might not. But fasting is when you don't eat for a day or for, let's say, just the morning and you come and you pray. And that is just giving, it's giving your best to God. And I know that when you don't eat, how many of you guys feel weak when you don't eat? that you don't have the energy during the day, that you want to eat and your belly is starving and it's just making a lot of noise. How many of you go through that when you don't eat? Yes, kids, we do go through that. But even if our body or physically we are weak, the most important part is that our spirit is getting even stronger so that when temptation or battle comes, we can overcome it. Hence the importance of fasting and praying. Because if you only just, oh, you say, you know what? I'm going to fast today. I'm just not going to eat. No, that's not fasting. But fasting is coming and praying to God, telling him about whatever you're going through. And just fasting, just remember, fasting is not only eating, but you need to pray while you're fasting. Okay, kids? So whenever you're going through a problem, before you go to sleep or when you wake up, just pray to God and tell them, God, please help me in this. And just always remember the importance of praying and fasting. So now say this with me. God, help me to understand the importance of praying and fasting. Okay. God, help me 
to understand the importance of praying and fasting. Okay, kids, one more time. God, help me to understand the importance of praying and fasting. Guys, I hope that you liked the classes today and you had so much fun and you learned the importance of praying and fasting today. So see you next week. Oh, sorry. I was going to dismiss you guys, but I was forgetting something very important to pray. So let's join our hearts and let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for teaching me that I must pray and fast to overcome anything in life. Help me to put it in practice whenever I'm going through something. Now I ask that you take me back home safe and bless me during the week and my family. In the name of your son Jesus, I pray. Amen. And I have it. Now, yes, kids. So see you next week. And I'm so excited to share more stories with you guys.